Hey everyone, this is the final video on my series of tutorial lists suggesting content for you guys to study on a wide range of different topics, starting with drawing for concept art, values, colors, materials, and then all the way to environments, 3D characters, and now to more advanced drawing and painting and applications, processes, and people and their journeys. And if you've seen my video on 50 books for the self-taught artist, the last part of that is more advanced drawing and uh, painting techniques. So it's a little bit what we're gonna be talking about here today. I wanna be brief, so I'll go over all the topics, but you can later on really jump in and here are the numbers for all the listed content in the description below. So you can refer back and I'll share those numbers in the end of the video once again. So the main content that really sparked the idea for this video was an interview with Craig Mullins for the Art Department podcast, where they discussed a lot of things, the artist's journey as a whole, as well as AI. So you can see the Teletubbies in there and, and weird stuff that we're seeing in AI. But there is one sp specific part where Craig discusses uh, artist journey, and especially what you should learn. Diving deeper into artists' lives, he mentions really specifically this book on Sargent by Redcliffe and how you should read the text. I'm reading the text myself so we, I can create content to uh, the channel later on. But it's a very informative book on the motivations behind every choice in artist uh, in Sargent's career. So it's really interesting to see where he went, as well as Craig mentions understanding more of a civilization, why they did stuff. I recently had the pleasure of going through Gabriel Yeganian's course on architecture for world building, and he talks a lot about that, why they did that specific building, their culture, their context, their available materials, what they were focusing on, agriculture versus more like almost hunter-gatherers and, and what were the differences there and, and how they grew from one place to the other and surviving different climates and, and all of that. So this is really important for everything that we're going to be doing later on in terms of world building, in terms of creating cultures, even in terms of the stories that we're going to be telling. So the first part here it's all about artists and understanding their lives and all of that. A little bit of uh, art history in here and more art books as well as some interviews here with Moby Frank. And you have a lot of podcasts such as the one with the art department interviewing Craig Mullins and a lot of discussions uh, all around. I'll add most of the podcasts that I know so that you can really dive deeper in there, A La Prima by Richard Schmidt, as well as uh, Frank Frazetta and uh, Heinrich Clay, also really interesting. You have other suggestions here on the channel on books as well, so definitely go through that to learn a little more. Then we go into this area that is applying a lot of what you learned. So John Park using uh, Richard Schmidt and here Nick Jindro using a little bit of the Richard Schmidt kind of approach uh, Sid Mead, so you can learn directly from Sid Mead as well as this tutorial here, and then applying real world things to your uh, drawings and paintings in a very uh, advanced way. So Li Qin Yin as well as John Park here, and you can really go and start diving deeper into the process of some of the artists and the references that they are using. So Jasper Ising here, Sparf uh, in his way of painting, Sergei Kolozov or uh, Peleng uh, here as well, and some courses from Schoolism. So Craig Mullins, first, I love this one, painting the sci-fi from start to finish, as well as Nathan Fox and how he thinks art in terms of creating a gallery show. So it goes into more of the fine arts. So it's a little bit of a career driven in there as well. And using everything that we discuss here to create visual development for animation for games and all of that. So we have here Victoria Ying, uh, as well as those two courses uh, from Schoolism as well, combined with the great Zach 
heads in here, reds, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then start going more into process and tools. And some of those artists are really unique in their use of those techniques. So you can see here Jama using the greasy pencil from Blender. So one, once those technologies start coming out, people really start using them. There is also this amazing use of greasy pencil by Anis Naim. I'll add both the tutorial as well as his video using that uh, over here. It's really awesome. You should definitely take a look at both and understand a little bit how he's using that technology. And as I said, everything that comes out, those artists are like sponges for knowledge and techniques and they go in and really learn them and use them in their process to get to unique results. I think this is a very good example of the uses that even like AIs, not in the unethical way, but the use of machine learning to art can get to something that we haven't seen before. And that's something I, I like to believe as well. Uh, down here, more older techniques using a little bit of 3D and photo bashing. Uh, so Eitan Zana, John Sweeney uh, from the days that they were working on Uncharted and Last of Us. So a lot of those process in there. Uh, some matte painting to really dive deeper into application. Uh, so Anthony F. Takari, as well as Stephen Corman here from Learn Square. Another course is from Learn Square, more on HUD design. So you, we're getting really in depth into different areas and focusing on being specialized. So I think this is where we've seen a lot of stuff and it's time to start really specializing. So production concept art here uh, with Jan Urschel and going deeper and deeper into what each artist has chosen or like life has chosen for them. Sometimes it's a natural way of understanding what you should be doing and the way you should be doing things uh, to, to really show yourself through your art. So more interviews here uh, and focusing on the specific industry. So the movie industry here with fans, as well as a lot of uh, events that you should be going through. It's a great way to get to know artists, to get to know the human behind those artworks. So going, chatting and really getting to know people is really important. Uh, so have THU here with this is a video from the event as well, but I'll have links for the event uh, itself, Promised Land and Lightbox, uh, just to name a few. Uh, there are others out there. And the last thing I want to say is just like to support the artists that you admire. So here, Dylan Cole, that was the production designer for uh, Avatar, the sequels that is still the production designer because some of those movies are, are still coming out and uh, Eclipse by Vance Kovacs, Kovacs and Justin Sweet. Uh, I remember going to CTN 2016 and the first thing I wanted to do was to buy this book because I was really waiting to get a chance to buy it. I really admired their work. So it was awesome to get there, get it signed by them, getting to know both artists and chat a little bit. And that's also something that you can combine events. So Lightbox has that, CTN has that, and even Artist Alleys in Comic Cons and other conferences out there. So you can definitely go there, buy their work, support their work, as well as get to know a little more the artists. So that's it from me today, but please do share in the comments the tutorials that you love the most, that you have learned the most from uh, and what you've learned from them so that we can really build on top of all these tutorials. I have a list to all the tutorials as well as the numbered uh, content here listed today. But I would also love to have more and more people come in and share even on the other videos, especially for those topics, as well as very broad uh, interviews that they really liked and all of that here in the comments of this one. So as a community, we can really grow uh, and expand. Uh, I hope this was informative. I hope it helps 
find some of the contents out there for you to explore and potentially even help on your personal artist artistic journey. But as this is the last installment in this series, we've covered all the topics, I really want to reinforce that sometimes you won't need any content. Sometimes you've got to be looking for that almost magical formula to get to better results. But it's more about mileage, drawing, painting a lot, doing your explorations. You can see the ones here uh, by Nick Jindro, John Park that we discussed, they were done also by their growth, their artistic explorations, their need to learn and develop. I talked about this in my video on, on the Avatar sequels and the, that team, I'll add the link to the description as well. So sometimes it's all about curiosity and really diving deeper and, and sitting down and doing the work. So don't feel like you need that specific tutorial to make that specific investment and so on. Sometimes only the time investment and time can be like a year. Sometimes you hit a plateau that you will come out of that and you won't even notice that you're coming out of that, but a year later. So keep on doing a lot of work, focus on the quality of the work and the processes that you're using, but as well as on doing a lot of work. The quantity part sometimes can be underestimated and it will make a lot of difference down the line. So go break a leg. Bye.